Oh, hey everyone and welcome aboard, I'll be your Captain Hilliant today along with... Here's a mud Lieutenant Rukir! Who has the wrong uh, helmet, so give me a second. <laughs> there we go. All right, I just need okay, to... back to that. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it's not uh, my usual mask, but apparently someone lost it. Yeah. <laughs> so Wait, we got you an antique cool. one. It's almost... Do you just update me to a Golden Freddy version of Jason? <laughs> Maybe. Oh yeah, you. welcome back everyone to the Dark Side Detective with Detective Francis McQueen. Not Frank. Francis. Oh, hello. Okay. <laughs> like last time we said that... I, I read that there are bonus levels, but well, this now fully confirms it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I thought we were just about to finish up this game last time we streamed it. But yeah, we got started on Dawn of the Dead. Let's continue our investigation then. Okay, basically what's going on is that, well, there's a zombie apocalypse going on. And uh, yeah, a bunch of Darksider gangsters are here to resurrect a, a bright side or quote-unquote normal side uh, Mafia Dawn. Okay. Now, let's see. Last time we got in here, into the church. Oh, hello, Chief Ghoulie. <clears throat> uh, what's, what's going on here? What are you doing in the bright side? Ugh, me innards. You okay? Been shot, son, right in the guts. So it was you and McScreen those goons were shooting at. Did it worse, son? Burning up from the inside out, I am. Bright yeah, dark side bullets are not like yours, what with them being filled with cursed com <laughs> cursed components, as it were. What can I do to help? Can we remove the bullets? Cannot be removed normally, son. I need some purif <laughs> purified water to wash the badness out. I'll have a look around. As you were then, son. Okay. So, yeah, he's dying. Let's see. His candles are bigger than my head. Then they're good quality. Then they're good candles. Will last a while. The sensor is filled with old, caked in, moldy smelling incense. Yo, you'd think those, they'd clean those out. Hey there, any chance of a miracle? No? Right. Oh dear. Wait. Hold on. Hmm? What happens if a someone from the dark side dies? Yeah, that's a good question. And again, it, it, it's not the afterlife there. It's just another oh. side, a ghost... Hmm, a ghost-ish side. True. Would be curious. Let's see. A blocky dog's calendar. It has the core religious text from all major fates and a note saying, just in case. <laughs> At least they're prepared. I wish I had a nice chair like this back in the office. I couldn't confiscate this for the case, could I? No. Could I, though? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, McQueen beating back the intrusive thoughts. Let's see, it's a heavy-duty shredder. It could probably even tear up clothes. Okay, I'm thinking that's a, a hint for something. I'm guessing we might need to disguise ourselves as zombies to get out of here. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> get back, demon bro. <laughs> Great, now I'm soaked. Gnarly, thought you were a hollow head. <laughs> Total wipeout on my end, bro. How did a server dude become a priest? <laughs> Right, do you have a towel I can borrow? borrow? And shiny bell. Thanks, I polished it myself. 
I think there's a masturbation joke in there somewhere about him polishing his bell. What? I, I think that's how that's called in some places. No! <laughs> no! Hill, no, it's not! <laughs> You're mixing things up! No! Well, then it is now. An assortment of extreme sporting goods, from scuba tanks to hang gliders, and oddly face paints. Why do you have all this? Dude, I like to extreme to the max, and you can't extreme to the max without painting your face. But a scuba tank is bust. I lost the mouthpiece. I'm gonna throw it out. Hmm. Mind if I take it? Sure, dude. Enjoy. Okay, a scuba Ew. tank. Uh, but, uh, uh, what are those things called in English? Do things those metal rods you put candles into? Uh, candelabras? Yeah. The candlesticks? Yeah. Well, not the sticks, but just the metal things you put them in. That's the thing you polish as a in is use as a masturbation yoke. <laughs> oh, we made a new one now. Sorry for the washout, dude. What was that about? Hollow heads don't like holy water, my friend amigo. Turns them into mush burgers. Good to know. Can I have some holy water? <laughs> Far out, dude. Happy to share the Lord's liquid. <laughs> don't say it like that. <laughs> I'm way low right now. Wasted my last wipeout on you, but you can have my dregs. But dude, it's not enough to mush a hollow. Okay, so we got a little bit of holy water. We can put we can put that in the water tank to just make a bunch of it. I came to save you. Are you okay? Given the circumstances, I'm happy to be topside and not drowning in the swell of undead. We <laughs> need to get you out of here. If you can cause a break in that wave of undead, I can get myself out, dude. Hmm. How will I do that? Like the surfer listens to the sea, maybe you should listen to the dead? That actually might work. Good idea. The Lord speaks through me, Brosef. What? What's with all the sports gear? I was meant to be going on an extreme sports holiday, but I stayed to bless some babies. Bro, I will not make that mistake again. <laughs> Screw the babies, go sporting. <laughs> Sorry, Nara, dude. Okay, so we have a gas mask and a scuba tank. The mask should hold up as a replacement for breeding apparatus for a few minutes, at least. Okay. And actually, people, yes, I am eating a pizza. I, I bought this a few hours ago and reheated it. So I was unsure if I could dare to buy it before stream. But some of so pizza actually tastes better and they've been reheated for some reason. Hmm. Yeah, that is the case with some things. Let's, I, could be that just the way it's being heated, like in the microwave, it gets heated through and through and not just uh, from the layer to the middle in that oh, order. I, I talked to my father about it. He told me that it's actually due to when you reheating it, you actually finish baking it for when they, you buy it, Zaria. You may know you don't need to wait too long. That's because they say you when it's edible, not properly cooked. Like when you finish eating pizza freshly from a restaurant, you may realize, feel uh, that suddenly stufffulness in your belly. Yeah. Come out from nowhere. That's the piece of finished yeasting in your belly. Okay. Yeah, it's weird. Let's see. I spoke with Ghouli. Is he still festering the pits of agony? He could be better. Then waste not time idly bantering with me. Find a remedy whilst I continue to hold the proverbial fort. It's not safe to go back out there. Okay, what do we need the scuba kit for? Yeah, we need the holy water for the water tank. And I guess we could disguise ourselves as a zombie? Hmm. Let's see. I guess we could put our coat in the shredder to make it look more damaged, but... Oh, leather opener. Pens, a leather opener, some reading glasses, and, as, and the, with, yeah, some reading glasses with the lenses popped out. I'll take the leather opener. Okay, someone wants to try and look... Uh, someone wants to try and look more uh, intelligent. 
without actually ne needing the glasses. Oh, it's a, okay, it's a rather small church, since both ways go over here. Let's see. Letter opener. Tiny sharp knife. Oh, also, the fact that it's a cross at the end. <laughs> hmm. Okay, either I'm missing something. Or do we need to climb back out through here? Yeah, can... Brains, brains, brains. Brains? Brains. It sounds like they're arguing, if only I could understand them. Okay. Well, it looks like we'll have to look up that hint site again. In... Go back up there and see if you can put your coat into the shredder. Yeah, the question is, how do I... Let's see, how do you shredder? Yeah, I was nowhere near yours playing Mc McQueen. Okay. Hmm. Let me see. Uh, da -da -da -da. Dark side detective. There. Okay. I do like that we found this site because it make it's a lot better than just oh it than just looking up a wall show go do this go do that. I we he means he. <laughs> I rarely do that kind of work. Okay, just here, Dawn of the Dead. Okay, graveyard. Okay, helping Ghouli. Oh, wait, do I just give the holy water to him, then? Ah, yeah. Okay, hopefully we'll have enough left for the water tank, then. Or, actually, it would probably... Yeah, it would probably be better to get the priest out to the water tank. Okay, I was, <laughs> I was thinking we would need to preserve this. Use this to wash out your wounds. Much better. Thank, <laughs> thank you, son. Thank you for that, son. Feel better now? Much better. Ready to fight the force of evil once more. <laughs> I knew I was right about you. Good act, is one. Can you help me understand the zombies now? No, could never speak to the dead myself. Neither a necromancer or cryptic speaker be. Okay, so there is a difference between the dead and the darksiders. So they are just a... Uh, the whole dark side is just a reflection. Not, well, the afterlife. Draft. Oh, I was right. sure there was uh, some. Yeah, I was sure that was the kind of thing you dark setters could do. That son is what you call racism. <laughs> Good day, son. Godspeed. Okay, can you help now? I spoke with Ghouli. Uh, he, he's recovering now. Only if you consider getting better to be recovering. Right. Do you think you can teach me to talk to zombies? Are we not all in a way zombies? Listen closely. So what are they arguing about? Family guy? Oh, no. Huh, that was easier than I thought. Everything is easy for the ignorant. Hey. Okay, let's find out what those zombies are saying. Let's try this again. Brains, 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 brains. They are angry and confused. If I could disguise myself as one of them, I think I could unionize them and lead them away from the church. I need to find a way to make myself look and smell less alive. Okay. Sorry, Code, but I need to look more undeadish. <laughs> yeah. He even right. bent his freaking pants through it and his shirt. I was right. It just was at the wrong moment to use it. Yeah. Is it uh, face paints? Can you use your face paints to make me look undead? I can do that. 110%, bro. Percentage only go up to 100. 110, bro. 110. Fine. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, and then the last one. The sensor is full of... Oh, yeah. If I can find a way to scrape some of it loose, I could use it to mask my lovely living smell. Well, there. And done. Boy, that stinks. 
Okay, well, here we go. Okay, I should be able to pass as one of them now. Reigns. 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 <laughs> okay, they've agreed to unionize under my leadership. Time to go talk to the people who brought them back. And they are actually following. <laughs> <laughs> Mamma mia, it's a zombie horde. Run, Slim. <laughs> yeah, run. Okay, well, that's done. All right. Oh, they're going to keep following me, though. Oh, hello, car key. Those goons must have dropped these before running off. Okay. Stop right there. Too late, Brightsider. Ale Alexander Pope. Okay. Rawr, I live with El Corp zone. He is no zombie, he is a human, you fools. Brains? Oh no. Destroy him. Brains. Okay, so this is how it ends. Not with a bang, but with me whimpering. Uh, oh, hello there. <laughs> how long have you been down there? Oh, it's much of the read. Mm. Uh, after, let me finish chewing here. Uh, I think this is about to give. Of course, it's perfectly placed. Dooley! He's trapped in the rubble with all those zombies. I need to save him. The priest said that holy water turned into mush, but where would I find enough of it? Uh, magic coal paint? This must be the ritual paint taken from Wang's. They used it to paint those markings and summon corpse some soul into Ardon's body. Oh, okay, so that's what they that was happening. They got their old boss into a new body. And I don't I don't understand why a floating being needs a ladder to paint on walls, but I'm glad they do. This could make a passable walkway. A trap down there with Julie, but it's only a matter of time before one of them spots him. Okay, there. And should get me across. Uh. He's semi-conscious. Why aren't you trying to eat him? Brains. Right, he has none. Oi! <laughs> he should get me across. A statue of Saint Monica, patron saint of being trapped in a sp in spooky crypt with bad guys. Okay. These must be the markings for the ritual to summon the dawn from the dark side. For a specific. They stole a good solid car. Will be tied anything that this crashed into. Well, something like a water tower. Okay, I found a dark. No, no, no! All that zombie talk earlier tired me out. I must rest my eyes. Really? I need you. <laughs> la 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 la. Asshole. Thank you for that, son. I found the Don and his crew. They're trapped below the crypt, and Dooley is trapped there with them. Then, son, what is it that has you talking to me, then? You uh, <laughs> you as a rescue... Yeah, the, you as a rescue to stage. Up to it. Okay. I need you to bless the water tower for me. Bro, are you for real, bro? I've gotten all the undead into the sewers, I need to flush them fast. I've been waiting to be asked to turn out that much god juice, like, literally forever. You have a distinct way of talking about your faith. <laughs> what can I say, bro? The Lord is my surf guy. We hang tight and hang often, and I want to bring the whole world out on the waves with, with us. But we, the Lord and I, take safety much so serioso. Take this life ring uh, with you in case you get caught up in the flood. A flood to wash the sinners away. Super biblical, bro. <laughs> Super biblical. <laughs> okay. Oh, dear. Dude, bro, I'm gonna go do my thing, bro. <laughs> Made a big GB on your side. I can't tell if this guy is the best or worst priest, though he's likely both at the same time. Yeah, what the heck? Ah, it's a bound. <clears throat> Order. Bro, I'm all over it, bro. Go do your thing. I'll be ready, bro. Okay, he brought oh, the sport bag with. Let me know if you want me to do the priest voice. 
Oh, that, that, that would be funny. <laughs> well, I, my offer stands. If I crash this into the water tower now, the zombies will be nuked, sure. But Dooley will drown. I need to make sure he's got some way to breathe first. Oh, and we we have an improvised scuba kit. Quickly, put this on, buddy. Uh, okay. Here we go. There. Okay, Dooley is ready. I'm ready. Are you ready up there, father? <laughs> Kawabunga. Aye. <laughs> go ahead. Kawabunga. Uh, what the heck was that? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Mm. Let's see if I can that right this time. I could definitely roll accent for that one. Mm. Where's luck, dude? I'm off to my way, K. What? Oh, right. Way, K. <laughs> Pops a hang glider out of his ass. The pedal's locked in place and the car is you know, good to go. I hope my aim is true. Okay, we're not going to warn the Australian. Then there we go. Oh, good gods. I hope that worked. <laughs> hey, Dooley, you okay there, buddy? <laughs> Playing a little wet behind the ears, but I'm okay. Glad to hear. It, oh, my... Ah. You took my minions. I'll have to create new ones, starting with your friends. <laughs> Hold on, Dooley. Damn it, if only there was a way I could send the Don back to the dark side. Uh, nothing seems to be happening. Uh, what are you... Oh, what a... oh hello. Oh. <laughs> I need to copy the ritual markings onto this ring to turn it into a makeshift portal. <laughs> okay. Oh, clever. That, that's clever, yeah. Uh, let's see, there, there. Oh, well, uh, it is clever provided it allows itself to work on one of these things. A bit awkward if it tries to be stone, it needs to be painted on. There we go. My improvised portal is ready for use. Okay, sayonara. I just need to take careful aim. No. <laughs> and away he goes. Got him. Enjoy your axle back to the dark side. You okay, Dooley? <laughs> oh, I'm the tug them. Did, did we break? Did we zap his arm off there? Or is that just junk? <laughs> Good. I was worried about you there for a minute, buddy. Let's get you out of those sewers. Now then, now then, now then. Now then. We have arrested the rest of his accomplishment. Accomplishes? Accomplishes? Accomplices. <laughs> okay, my brain had a bit of a fart there with how he was trying to say that. And locked him away. This un you know, this uncooperated to reduce his sentence. Reverse the ritual side effect that raised the dead in your city. Should be all you now that undead is back to being plain old dead now. Good, because I have no I had no idea how we was going to fix that. That was crazy dangerous magic guy. I was young and innocent, easily misled. It happened a half hour ago. <laughs> I've grown a lot in that time. A new man, ready for parole, I'd say. Anyway, we owe you for this, Brightsiders. You're welcome, I'd say any time, but let's make sure this never happens again, eh? Absolutely. Let's get to processing this lot, eh, Agent? And are these two finally going to get some recognition, or...? Yep. Dick Brigman here with Detective McKing, who just received a medal for stopping the riots across the city. Oh, fucking course. 
If graveyard has two for one sale on newly available graves. Come on. Proprietor of Mystic Knickknack Shop arrested while disposing of body. <laughs> Claims police made him do it. Right. By, made him do it by discovering he was hiding it in the fr in the first place. That's not how that goes. Old Don's mansion burnt down. Police say no, it didn't. Right. New detective survives riot on first day, which is newsworthy, apparently. Mayor claims she didn't run from city during riots. She had just uh, heard a phone ringing in a nearby state. Right. Uh. Can you tell me, Dick Brickman, and them viewers of Dick Brickman, what happened, detective? There were riots across the city, and uh, now there, are, <laughs> there aren't. None of the details there, detective. Your wife is the mayor. Is that a conflict of interest? Nope. There you have it, friends. No conflicts in one fancy medal. Congratulations to the detective. After all that, I can't believe he got a medal instead of you, detective. <laughs> You're saying that the water tower burst a few days prior and got tainted by dead bodies before leaking into the reservoir, giving everyone temporary madness. At least we know what happened. You're a hero detector. Thanks, buddy. That means a lot. Hmm. I'm, I'm not sure if uh, McKing, if he got bitten, if that would be an improvement or not. He's closed. Uh, uh, okay. had to, eating pizza had to be easier to do do his voice. <laughs> okay. I got to usually get a bit fake fruit after eating pizza. Okay. I'd say that was a fun game, but we still have bonus cases to go over, so we can take a look at those. Plus, it's been only like it's been less than half an hour. What do you mean? What? It is a fun 60. game. It is a fun game. It, the game isn't gone. It's dead. It's still here. Kitty face software? Okay. Um, that's Poto. He joined the Blood Wolves, didn't he? Okay, and that's Raxa, Ta Tam, and uh, the, the Dark Side the, uh, Conductor. Best, best boy. boy, boy who is just okay, best cats. Okay. What? The Australian mixed cream and okay, one of the undead gangsters. Okay. I think we're lacking a lot of context on these pictures. And I think that's the point. Peter Farley proposing Teresa one... to watch the X Files. It was a game yam game. Okay. In memory of Peter Farley, no pixels were harmed in the making of this game. Some wrist work got tunneled, however. Okay, any resemblance to actual persons, living or dead, or actual events is pretty coincidental. Even a guy who you are pretty sure you met on that budget cruise at one time. Any photos you have with him in them are fictional and should be burned for prosperity. Uh, government wants to know it's a work of fiction, da, 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 ghosts and all that. This message is. Da, da, da. <laughs> Duly said? What? That would be great. <laughs> you'll probably get away with it, but you'll be an ass. <laughs> okay. Really? I, I, I'm, I'm guessing what they mean is that this game started as a game jam thing because this was a bit more than. It, <laughs> <laughs> there goes the best worst priest ever. Oh, we'll return in a fumble in the dark. Either that's one of the bonus cases, or they are at least planning to make. Oh, <laughs> that's a wrap. Wet, watch the credits to the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not one of these. By okay. Other guy. Bates Bates Hotel. 
Uh, that By could be an... the older guys I get, but the last one I don't get. I think that could be referencing to that uh, murder hotel. Like there was, there was at one point a serial killer who basically made a uh, what's it called again, a Machiavellian hotel uh, that he had designed and mostly, no, not mostly, but basically think of uh, your average Scooby-Doo house or location with all the hidden uh, trap doors and such. And uh, yeah, he actually built that and used that to kill people. Holy. <laughs> also, take a look at chat. Yeah, hello, Marco. And I would have gotten away <laughs> with it if it wasn't for that guy with a toy. Guy yeah, with a toy? Are Just they calling me a toy? <laughs> Let me at him. <laughs> Maybe. How are you doing, Marco? And yeah, welcome. We just finished the six base cases of this game, and now we have access to bonus cases. Wait, 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 wait. I just I need to wash my mustache first, all right? What? Yeah, okay. I, I had my sauce on the pizza. Of course I need to wash my mustache. Let's see. Marco, I've been here the entire time. Like, uh... I'm trying to think of a reference to make there without making it a spoiler. <clears throat> but yeah, just, let's just wait a sec uh, for uh -huh. Drakir. Yep, never mind. That was let's a see. <laughs> that was a second. <laughs> By heart. Christmas Eve is the perfect time for some last minute shopping, right? 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 No. <laughs> Oh no. It really is. Woohoo! Christmas Eve! Perfect for some last minute holiday shopping! <sighs> when I was a kid, holiday shopping meant buying new trunks for the beach. Who's this? Buzz. When you were a kid, something something old people. Let's go see Santa! <laughs> Okay. I can't wait to watch movies and eat candy all day. <clears throat> and help my mom with dinner. Wait. I have said I got my letter. Is this supposed Is that... to be uh, Dooley's son or little brother? Little brother or son? It, it, actually, it might be son, considering how old these two are. Yeah. Oh uh, no. Mallbot 5000. Halt shoppers, what is the nature of your visit? Shopping. Shopping for last minute Christmas, uh, Christmas gifts, clearly. Hmm, your story checks out. Just remember, I am the law around here and my cameras cover 26% of this place. Not everything happens without my knowing about it. <laughs> okay. It's not. I think that is a reference to a budget horror where uh, secure the inner mall went haywire. Very likely. <laughs> They've really gone all out this year. I know! How much better than last year's lone light and cardboard trees? You can really smell the plastic of this one. <laughs> Dooley, don't go in there. Oh, so now we're too good to search in bins all of a sudden. Yeah, how old is Dooley? Probably both too old and too young at the same time. Can I have one of those for Christmas? No way, mister. Last year you got the robot and forgot to take care of it. It ended up having, it ended up having to wash it for you. Hey, that's why it's short-circuited. Of course. I do love me some Christmas music. I don't. <laughs> I know, buddy. You've been playing them in the car since Halloween. <laughs> oh, for love of... Yeah, you're right. I did leave it pretty late to start with this year. <laughs> Fun uh... fact... I, I, wait. There's, there's not been no Christmas decorations selling in my store recently. 
Okay. Had he finally learned? Or maybe Vol they're just holding back a bit to let people well think they did. Yeah, for during the pandemic, they were seen increasing the durations. Almost before Halloween. Right after Halloween at times, but the pandemic already before Halloween, along with Halloween stuff. Yeah, I think that's actually what inspired the Nightmare Before Christmas, because a store was swapping out Halloween stuff for Christmas stuff when the uh, the one who made the original poem was walking by, and that led, well, to that, basically. Wait, is but, it inspired by yeah. poem? Yep. I did not know um, that. Uh, yeah, over here, in this, there's a December holiday, Santa Claus, which is a Often, uh, children often get chocolate letters for that, uh, and uh, yeah, they're they're selling them already three months ahead of time. Chocolate letters? Yeah. That's some thin chocolate. <laughs> Let's see. Good. Thank goodness there's a map. These places are huge. I always get lost. They're a straight bloody line. Dooley, the mall is only 20 screens big. Oh, we do have a store in Sweden that is gotten so big that you actually do need a bloody map. <laughs> now I'm reminded of a story with uh, <laughs> with IKEA. Can you guess which? Or do you know which? SAP one. <laughs> no, but <laughs> At one point, someone started fucking around with fake letter, uh, with fake arrows on the floor there, and sending people in circles, and people actually oh. got lost from that. Oh, good God, that! I'd almost forgot to that. Uh, I heard something recently, kind of relation to SCP and IKEA. Apparently, someone was making a, a SCP game set in one of those endless IKEA. But, yeah, there are a uh, lot of uh, SCP games that have been popping up lately. Yeah, how is is a problem? Well, I don't know. If, don't know if this is true, but apparently IKEA themselves put a stop to the game. Yeah, pro <laughs> there, it is a copyright thing, probably. Though not sure if it mm, if it was a free game, it would probably fall under fair use or such. Yeah, let's yeah. move on as the cursor forms the uh, the tip of the tree. Warning: Do not do a crime, shoppers. The crime is for life, not just the holidays. Um. It's. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? You know it. <laughs> A photo oh, montage. What we B <laughs> BFFs. Did Take a we photo just? Do we seriously? Succeed to do that in one try. Apparently. <laughs> Wait, does that make us BFFs? As the achievement said. Yeah, as the achievement said. <laughs> but I guess so. Uh, let me see. Where's those damn pens? Because I'm going to make pen. There. Wait. I'm going to make a note to find. What do you mean with that, Marco? Yeah, let's see, 41-ish. Okay. <laughs> Dorks. Whoops, well. Why is the grotto so far in? <laughs> if it was here, we'd be there by now. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's the, the thing with shops that they often do. They put the stuff you actually want in the back, so you have to pass by and be tempted by everything else along the way. Yeah. Where to? Where's, uh, almost. Where to first, detective? Well, ground floor has the food court, found in an arcade. Upstairs are the shops in the cinema. Grotto and Santa are over there, over here. Come on, guys. I guess we keep going to the grotto for now. Grotto? It's in Marco. A uh, I'm confused here. What do you mean with a grotto in this case? Uh, it's like the... <clears throat> I think it's the 
I, I think we'll see more than... I think seeing will be easier, Quinta. Hello there, Agnes. Agnes! What are you doing here? I worked here when the camps is closed. The camps closes? I need to make a few phone calls. <laughs> He'll be here any minute, right? No, Devin, no, he won't. That means... <laughs> Christmas abandonment badges, yay! <laughs> Independence, yay! Remember neglected responsibilities. Oh no! <sighs> oh, so why the hell are you here then, Dooley? If you <laughs> or did, yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on here. I think you want to do the shot here. Uh, I'm switch you out, Drax. He was gonna pay me zero dollars for it too. No, you're going to have to pay me to do that. <laughs> I'm staying, little boy. <laughs> A free copy of the Twin Lakes Times. Grab me a copy, will ya? I want to read the sports results. Okay. I wonder what the shenanigans here are going to be. Hot dogs, burgers, turkey legs. It all sounds so delicious. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to order. Yuskins ignores all that. We've got stew. What? It's a hearty winter treat. What flavor is it? Dunno. <laughs> Ken just said stew. stew. I'll just have a soda. <laughs> it's got no soda, so only got stew. Fizzy stew. What? I didn't think it was possible, but I, lo but I just lost my appetite. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This woman is a walking health violation, uh, health code violation. I would not be surprised if that all fizzy stews do. Whenever you think of fizzy stews, you end up thinking of uh, um, bubbling soup and stew and such. You know, the kind that uh, wit serves you. That and when you look at, it, you feel like I should not eat this. Yeah. I wasn't hungry until this screen loaded. Duly. If Uncle Patrick stopped... Okay, so he... Okay, he's his, his cousin. If Uncle uh, Patrick stops for food, we'll never get to the grotto in time to see Santa. No! He's not his cousin! He's an uncle! Yeah, so if... If Nephew. Uncle... If Dooley... Uh, uh, okay, I, I just... <laughs> I just get mixed up in the terminology. So. If they were cousin, he just call him cousin. Yeah. The... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Need some eggnog, mates? <laughs> we have all the flavor variety. It is egg flavored, nog flavored, and milk flavored. Uh, be, be, I was gonna say, I, I'm not angry with Helian. I just the reason I got that maybe a little bit louder was because I was so surprised <laughs> by it. Uh, milky egg liquid, the taste of the holidays. I've never had eggnog. Don't think I've either. That's a pretty big fountain. Whoa. That is impressive. It goes as far as the eyes can see. Really, it doesn't even touch the root. <laughs> as far as the eye can see. That is a big ass tree, though. His decorations are pretty impressive, right, Dooling? That's nothing compared to the tree I'm decorating when I get home tonight. Wait, it's Christmas Eve and you don't have a tree up yet? I think you'd find I have saved up so far. Wait, wait, what? I think you'd find I have saved up so far, but for tonight's tree, I'm pulling out all the stops. That he means that he already has seven <laughs> Christmas trees decorated. <laughs> Three gifts! Our job here is done. Nope, they are empty. On we go. Too late. <laughs> they must have been growing this here in the secret for ages. Or they brought it in through the skylight. Growing for the longest time. 
My gifts better be as big as the ones under that tree, Uncle Patrick. They're almost as big as you are, Buzz. And? <laughs> I've never seen a bidet with that much power before. That's not a bidet. Uh, here we go. Let's see. I have to don't leak that place. I, I was more expecting us to have to say that to you, Dooley. Why would I lick it? Well, it looks like gingerbread. Yeah, but just because it looks like gingerbread doesn't mean it's... You licked it, didn't you? Uh, it looks just like gingerbread. <laughs> okay, so I was right in, well, my presumption. Why are we wasting all this time standing around? There's a Santa in there that needs clausing. Welcome to Santa's Grotto, where all your dreams come true. <sighs> Roll on quitting time. I miss out the hungry elf for a moment. <laughs> it's all I hoped for and more. Let's go. <laughs> oh ho ho, Merry Christmas, one and all. The Jolly Red Meal Ticket. <laughs> Look at this fine trio of lads. I hope you've been good all year. Good. We've been great. We need some city saving size goodies in the stockings this year, Santa. <laughs> A city saver, eh? Then you must be D uh, Detective McKing. I kid, I kid. I know who you are, Francis. I am Santa. I see all. I was just being a jerk for funsies. Uh, guys, Santa's got a busy schedule. Join the queue and wait your turn, yeah? Okay, boss. You heard the happy elf. Get in the queue and we'll go grab gifts for you and your mom. Are we okay to leave him here on his own? Detective, it's Twin Lakes. Christmas. What could possibly go wrong? Everything. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Take me again in sync. Oh, yeah, well, we are leaving here anyway. I think you forgot to read there. <laughs> no, oh. he was just going dot, dot, dot. Oh. Uh, uncle of the year here. Well, maybe I could get some tips, because I suspect I need them. <laughs> Proving the point. If it's awkward for <clears throat> I am an uncle in real life. <laughs> That is one fancy seat. Cup holder, heated seat, back massager, it has all the functions. It, ha it has to be, in case he needs to uh, go, you know, on the uh, job. I don't think it th it's that kind of throne, Dooley. From your EQ, children and uh, bigger children. I hate my life. Hey, detective, if we complicated those, we did have our shopping done in the town. It's thanks to poorly fill out form J37. Tempted as I am, I don't think your sister will dig a pile of poorly made kids' toys. <laughs> hey, that all took me hours to make. Uh, let's see, Marco, Dooley just like me. He abandons all responsibility and is stupid. Dooley is literally me. Okay, so are we going to call you Dooley from now on? <laughs> Guys, get out of here. You're embarrassing me in front of Father Capitalism. <laughs> Wait. No, 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 no. I'm not going to let that slide. No. Never call Santa Father Capitalism. It is the original yeah. Santa will not be Capitalism. Yeah. <laughs> it's not for free after all. <laughs> Let's see. I hope my hands saw out before I meet Santa. I'd hate to accidentally drop my gifts. Or worse, give a weak handshake. You only get one first impression. You're next, kid. What? I said you're next. Okay, mister, just let me know when I'm next. I can't wait. <laughs> Why do we get the feeling oh. we've got... We've got ourselves a South Park reference. Yeah, Lenny, you know, Kenny. Yeah. Okay. There's no way this is going to end horribly. There's probably at least four casualties. 
it's gonna be oh god it's gonna be murder robots and santa sleigh maybe <laughs> i spent a lot of time here when i was younger i was younger last weekend always growing i am <laughs> Uh, it has been literal years since I've been to an arcade, and I know there is one reasonably nearby. Yeah, yeah there's <laughs> still some around, but not many dedicated ones. <laughs> Marco, we all know if Santa is father communist since he wears red and delivers presents for nothing. <laughs> oh, d d let's not go there. I don't think they want to be associated with any of those things. Yeah. Why would anyone want to alarm a fire? Things are dangerous when spooked. I don't know about fire elementals. <laughs> Must we search every bin we see? Faith invaders, zombie munch, claw right. machine, broken console. That's someone we recognize here. Do you see the girl in cap? Emily. Okay, what are Pretty you doing? plotting, you little, <laughs> you little anarchist? We actually, we can actually play these, huh? Okay, will it do the same thing as the original game? Because I think I've said this once or twice, so shut the, our own protection. Uh, the reason in Space Invaders why, it, yeah, it's speeding up. Why the, it speeds up the more you take out is because it's actually freeing up memory and processing power for it to actually be able to move them. You mean the, the fun way to use a flawed system? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure if it is, was even supposed to be a feature and not a bug. Yeah, they're getting real fast now. And I think I shot my own thing. Why are some of those taking more damage? I Have I been shooting them accidentally? Can I actually win this? Yep. <laughs> okay, let's just get out of here. Okay, what is this? Uh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Arcade kids play games in the arcade. I've been only done that twice in my life. And one of them was a game I only recent years finally got to know what it was. Primal Rage. Okay, I think I think I've heard that that one is considered pretty good. It's unique, <laughs> definitely. It even had comics. Oh, my turn. Hmm. I love arcade as a kid. Okay, still on them. Can we go? Can we? Can we? Can we? <laughs> okay, let's get it back wait, in. Wait, look at the crane game. Oh yeah, so... Uh, wait, that is so... Why is someone in there? Yeah, so so there for was a hand, but now looking at it, I see that that's not a hand. Beside the claw hand. We, we need to check it, we need to check it, and... Yeah. yeah. The arcade's the most wonderful place on Earth! Wasn't that supposed to be Disneyland, or did they get bought out by the arcades? Actually, about that. Apparently Disney is about to buy EA. Okay, I know that... Uh, I know that... Uh, let me see... Microsoft got the... Uh, approval to buy Activision Blizzard, apparently. And I actually can't tell if that's going to make it an improvement or even worse. Also, I'm just pouring myself something to drink, finally. I need some as well. Okay, I hope that wasn't too audible, or at least not too annoying on the mic. Not audible at all. Okay. Mm. But yeah, Disney and the EA. Uh, is, that a, is that one of the three requirements for the apocalypse or something? Yeah, it does sound concerning. Uh, Marco, it's Fred from Scooby-Doo. I don't think so. He, yep, he's, he's wearing a scarf, not a, an ascot. Hey, Detective. Hey, Blood Alpha. Emily, what, what are you, you doing here? Hmm? The ascot, that's what it's called. Not, but, uh, what Fred wears is called an ascot. A-S, 
C O T, I believe. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Dad took me and my baby brother to see Santa, but Santa is lame, so now we're trying to steal toys from the claw machine. I can guess who's dad it, who that is, it is then. Except for Christmas? Uh, I hate Christmas. Everyone is off with their families, the weather is poop, and we have to go around with dad stealing stuff to put under the tree. Rubbish time of year. What about Santa? Surely you are excited for his visit. Santa's a sham detective. Sometimes I worry about your detective skills. Maybe if you were nicer and didn't rob our case, he'd visit. I don't see how those things are linked. <laughs> Did you ask Santa for anything nice? That chump doesn't write to me, so I don't write to him. Besides, it's a bit grand, isn't it? Flying all over the world, giving kids gifts. What past crime are we try <laughs> Are you trying to cover up, Crimson Pants? <laughs> okay. See you guys later. Why is there a kid in here? He, uh, crawled in when I wasn't looking. But Dad, uh, you told me to go in and pass the goodies out to you. Shut up! <laughs> Kids, eh? <laughs> say, say the darnest things. Right. Hey, buddy, can't you see I'm busy stealing? Oh, hello, officer. Hey. He's out of order. <laughs> oh, I'm pinching monkeys. My favorite game here. Hey, have we met me? Before? Don't think so. And I can see where Emily gets it from now. It... Well, that's not what good. What was that? What was that? <laughs> Screen shake. We better go make sure Buzz is okay. Really? <laughs> oh, great. What the? What's going on here? <laughs> Krampus. Obviously. Christmas comes but once a year. But this time Krampus is here. You might think I'm going barmy, but I've come to make an army. I've turned these rotters into gnomes to send them back to terrorize their homes. <laughs> oh, great. Merry Christmas, butts and ghouls. Let's mess this place and wreck these fools. Buzz? <laughs> Me go play and break some things. Oh, great. It's gnome stuff again. What? Oh, to go. It's the Grem we're going to have to deal with gremlins, but now they're gnomes. We better find him. Stay awake, uh, big boss man. He don't like kids. What, you already see through his disguise. No need to lie to you, clever man. Know what's that? What's what? Now hop off. Okay. Uh, gnomes are good, gnomes are bad. Apparently. For Christmas dinner, I'm gonna eat your teeth. Hey, stop throwing stuff at us. Nah, no, you visit St. Nick, then I throw a brick. Shame they are, they is all fake. Do so, you have new have things to say? Before, but, uh, Santa here is Yule Tomten. It literally translates to uh, Yule Gnome. Okay. But he's not a gnome for some reason. <laughs> Nothing new here. All hail Krampus, the king of Christmas chaos. Ho ho ho, Merry Bimus. Don't forget to ask your parents for all the biggest toys this Christmas, children. No expense is too much if they love you. Ugh. Okay, yeah, they... I would not be surprised if this is what they do in America and other places. Let's see. Brigman's Christmas Roundup bringing you the top news and events of the past year. Oh, I love this show. I wonder if we'll get a mention. You did not. Oh, no fair. Oh, God. I, I think what? you should be worried about something else there, Bluely. Is it in, t in TV? <laughs> this TV has a printout of a newsroom where the glass should be. <laughs> Calabon, Calabon, she will fight the cosmic star. Her claws are made of tears of moon, protecting daylight from Sanguri 5. She pledges licks of fury. Foreign cartoons are odd. 
Ah, you're just gonna lean into the oddness is all. Open your heart to it. it I kinda had to agree with that to a degree. That the way you see the limits. Yeah, there are some ways that some cartoons are just way too insane. <laughs> like, bo 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 bo. Oh, my favorite show is on! That's the local bus times. And? There's a lot to see and do around the city, Detective. You should hope only random bus yourself someday. He uh, has um... somewhat of a point? <laughs> Let's see. This. I. I see you over there. <laughs> These are robots make. These are robots make great gifts. And. They're like one of the psychics. Demi sidekick. Almost like a psychic for your sidekick. Hint, hint. Really? I want one. Hint. <laughs> That's not a hint, Dooley. For Christmas, intent. <laughs> He's just letting him go on. A train with square wheels? Pah, dump. I feel like that bear is staring right into my soul. <laughs> Friendly dinosaur? Clearly these guys weren't duly pa paleontologists like me. Trying to ascribe human traits to reptiles. <laughs> typically, typically human-centric notions. What the heck? Did not expect that from him. And yeah, I, I actually just... Early on, I accidentally stopped myself. I thought the healer must say something. I was drinking. <laughs> yeah. All right, also, the next... <laughs> me staring dead ass at you as he says that. <laughs> Wait, I. <laughs> the best thing about running a bus shopping is that I re I reason to go into toy stores. <laughs> but he's not here right now. Oh yeah, he can still go into. Oh yeah, we can still go in two, right? I, I feel that word wrong. Though. <laughs> no, I feel like I'm messing up when I'm trying to do an accent. Imagine getting somebody a gift from an appliance store. Ha! Yeah. I just need to go back into the tech stuff for a second. Okay, if it's something useful, like say an air fryer or a new toaster or something, as when someone needs a replacement, especially, then still a, g a good thing. In fact, you can get some pretty useful things for relatively cheap, like rice cookers, air fryers, uh, yeah. toasters. Oh, make sure they have an already pre-ordered one for somewhere. Yeah. <clears throat> Do communicate stuff like that, or keep the receipt so you can change uh, You can, uh, <laughs> they can exchange it. <clears throat> I see references here. I so many Plenty. He Man, Skeletor, Boss Light Years, and Dinosaur. Woody. And Killian? Let's see. Leaders of the multiverse action figures. Only wear his pants man and his arch nemesis skull for a face, but otherwise not a skeleton. Us would love these if they came with their fortress beige skull place. Hate skull. Really? A painfully colorful yeah, puzzle. What I what I give to go into space, eh? The dark isolation of space, no kids, no toys, no lights, a limited supply of air. <laughs> Let's see. Oh man, I love this guy. Undisputed king of the dinosaurs, and dinosaurs didn't even observe political hierarchies <laughs> or dynasties. Dinosaurus Rex. Yeah. An orange brontosaurus? Why don't you just make him... <laughs> why don't you just give him a rocket pack if you're gonna make stuff up? Jeez. I'm pretty sure there's at least one show that had a bronto with a jetpack. And here we have Woody. 
What a country this was way back when, when men were men and didn't take orders from stuffed teddy bears. <laughs> Toy Story 3 reference, I think. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Bear. I know you only make me do you know, the, those things as punishment for my own good. Yes, sirree. <laughs> okay. The Troctocon. Optimus Prime. Transformers. I know these toys. Click them. They are robots that turn into slightly different looking robots. Oh, yes, I see. This one changes from a truck with a container into a truck without a container. The stuff of wonders. That sounds horrible. It, that's just detaching the back of it. it. That sounds like a scam. Yeah. Let's see, but that's this is it. this is Twin Lakes. So basically everything is a scam. I know. I'd love to sit for a cup too, Dooley, but not until we fix all the weirdness here. I'm a holiday, you I'm holding you to that. Do. <laughs> okay. Looks like a normal table to me. Don't be silly. Would a normal table cost that much? The price tag is how you know it's special. Uh a very fancy chair. Sturdy, too. How did, did you find, find that, that out? You. <laughs> Easy bake oven. I would have thought baking an oven was anything but easy. To start with, how would it fit in itself? <laughs> okay, fractal cooking. <laughs> this guy tells me what to do, and folks, let me tell you, it's not always pleasant. Um... Ah, uh, jump ropes. Trying to trick kids into exercising since man invented rope. <laughs> rope is always useful, so I'll grab some of this, if you don't mind. Huh? Me? Complain? In front of the bear? No siree. Yeah, jump rope is uh, always useful. Even if you're just wasting time, it well, lets you burn some calories. Actually, as a kid, we did... Uh, but I tried it once or twice and got bored of it and never did it again. But we did something else with them where we, we got some. What did you do? Turn them into flails. And <laughs> of whips. Of course. Uh, let's see, Marco, I have a panda plush like that. Like, he said that way earlier with the out with the big bear when we were outside. Uh, let's see, BRB gonna make some tea and co coffee. Okay, typically, and coffee. typically people make only one of the two. Let's see. Uh -huh. Isn't Christmas great? Chirpy music all season and so many flashing lights and constantly disorientated. <laughs> I can't recall the last time I saw daylight. <laughs> time? Uh, I feel like it's a reference. Maybe, but I'm not getting it then. Let's see. There he is. He's trying to reach the star from the tree. Uh, he's too far out to reach, Detective. Hmm, he's right under the skylights. Maybe I can grab him up from the roof? Impressive star. I can see why Boss wants it. Probably Mario as well. Ned's gardening? That's an impressive... what's it called? Reach? Spray? Plumage? <laughs> Tree and fountain are below us and in front of us. Let's see. That's the name. Gardening's my game. That and bridge can't beat an old four-way of a Thursday night. Okay. This is my shop, built for my lifetime of memories. Most good, some bad, but that's life, right? Wind chimes, whittled by rare Tibetan metal packers, like woodpeckers, but for metal and from Tibet. <laughs> Picked them up when I was hiking with Mildred. Of course, came home alone. She shacked up with a monk. Holy man, my eye. <laughs> okay. Wait, what? Sounds like his girlfriend ran off with a monk to, uh, well, <laughs> have a religious experience. Hint. hint. <laughs> Perfect for burying, you know, for landscaping and burying bad mistakes. What? Uh, yeah, that's not funny to me. Yes, that 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 feels like a 
very mighty mental punch to the face with a brick. Yeah. Also, I don't think cacti are supposed to droop like this. Weeping cacti, Brett and myself, well, with George back in our horticultural days, I don't like to think about them. Such heartbreak. Sounds like this man had uh, quite the uh, <laughs> road of heartbreaks behind him. Look at that happy couple, a power couple in the world of gnomes. That's second hand, from my old car washing business. The fun John, Tanya, and I had that summer, <laughs> that summer splashing one another unexpectedly. Then of course they ran off with each other and that was the end of that. I might need something with this kind of reach. Mind if I take it? Please do, nothing but, mad, but bad memories for me in that house. Sounds like this place is filled with more bad memories than good. Yep. Cobalt is a reference to a old uh, cartoon, I think. Uh, Dave, uh, David the Gnome? Possibly. <clears throat> Something came rolling out. There. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I think they were called that the same here, at least David's, but the, the Dutch word for gnome is kabouter. Let's see. I, my brain went wrong area. <laughs> Should I even ask then? Actually, it's not uh, dirty. It's, I just went to Pokemon for some reason, like kabutops. <laughs> Uh, okay, that's a that's a combination. I'm going to need to pay someone to make a. So, <laughs> let's see. Daisies ain't a fancy plant, that's for sure. But they're sturdy, add a nice smell and color to a place too. Can't go wrong with a daisy, no sir. Unless you mean Daisy Miller, who broke my heart that she did. Ah oui. I'll have I'll have my revenge one day. You mark my words. What? Oh, nothing, just flower talk. Don't even ask about that watering can. That relationship still has me tender. Uh, uh, there's another gnome. Uh, I won't lie, I thought I was buying something else at the time. In my defense, a nightclub is a strange place to sell pottery at 2 a.m. <laughs> Selling pots and its actual clay pots. Okay, that was a good one. Let's see. He was part of a pair, but they were torn apart by economical differences. He's jealous of the up-top gnomes, but that's not going to get him anywhere, is it? Sounds like you are supposed to be him, huh? Let's see. I think that's that there. Candy store. Oh, hello there. Smithy. Good to see you out and about, Brigadier. You too, old chap. After that run-in with old Jerry, I decided it was time to leave that hut and see what life here in the colonies had to offer. How are you finding it? Well, I joined this small walking club, but all we do is stand around like <laughs> stand around while Rose Gear gives Roger cookie dough and cuckoo eyes. I need some real action, frontline stuff. To come teach the blood wolves some survival tactics. Fight some wolves, you say? Count me in. Wait. <laughs> he seems Pardon? to be a Doctor Who reference and not an... Maybe they made it Australian to not make it as obvious? Mm, I don't think so. Uh, let's see. Marco, ta -ta -ta, I'm back. Got some Camilla uh, tea uh, set up. Or made some Camilla tea. Uh, seeing as I'm currently quite sick. Okay, okay, that's bad. <laughs> Sorry to hear that, Marco. Wait. You were able to translate that? That's Dutch. It, it is Dutch. What? I did not know Marco could speak Dutch. <laughs> well, you know now. <laughs> okay. No way. <laughs> I, I, you. No way. I have to go in. I have to. I almost switched accent uh, at the end of it. Uh, I should go to the local candy store some more and uh, see what <clears throat> see what they have in stock, and maybe get less from the uh, supermarket and such. That 
That's an annoying thing with supermarkets. They're very convenient, but they're bad for all the surrounding stores or that uh, they overlap with. Yeah, uh, apparently they get to learn Dutch in the school. Let's see, I'm leading, you know, learning Dutch in high school, so might as well test it. Okay. <laughs> That's unexpected. Uh, I'm guessing well, over here in schools, there's optional, uh, there's optional classes for French and German and such. So I'm guessing, yeah, <laughs> I honestly did not expect uh, that Dutch would be an optional language in a class. Yeah, for here, it, like in most places up here, it's you should have the option to learn French, Spanish, or German. Or English, now, of course. Now that I think about it, I don't remember if Spanish was an option. And, oh, oh. okay, we have seen it before. Detective, I haven't seen you since you ruined my pre-retirement uh, pre party. Pre-retirement? Pre-retirement. An early party in case you don't make it through those last few days. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry about that. It's okay. When I was your age, I was a maverick too. Don't let the rules get you down. Speaking of rules, should you still have your sidearm? Yes, yeah, sorry. Rules out the window with them. That's my motto. But your gun. Like Samurai, you and I, following our own paths and <laughs> making our own way. That's Ronin, not Samurai. Samurai are all about the rules. Or were. Yeah, cats to the swords. Um, num num. Actually, this... Sa Katana's may be seen as the signature weapon of uh, Samurai nowadays, but back in the days, the weapon they actually used the most, from what I have learned and heard, so it might not be completely accurate, was actually the bow. That, that they is were, correct. Yeah, they were mounted archers, mostly. Yeah, well, they favored bow and spear, or pool arms. Yeah, since, for, well, swords aren't that good on horseback. It. Yeah, they were good on horseback, they would shoot at the bow, otherwise you do cavalry charges. The summer sword was a backup way, but also a... Civilian time weapon sense, but well, it was easy to walk around with a sword in town. There with a yeah. bow and a spear. Let's see, Marco. Here we have French, English, Spanish, German, Russian, and as you just found out, Dutch. Okay. Okay, you had quite a lot of options. Oh, oh, a gentleman caller, and here's me stuffing my face with cookie dough. Don't stop on my account. Would you? Would you like some? No, thank you. I can't say I see the, uh, I, I can't see why people would rather eat cookie dough than, well, damn cookies themselves. I have tried cookie dough, but I think I like the cookies more. <laughs> what? No chance. <laughs> That's like a nightstick for your teeth. You gotta keep those smiles fresh when you're in the paper for capturing bad guys. <laughs> okay. So many types of candy, I want to try them all! Heavens no, not for you, gotta keep you boys in blue nice and fit, can't have crime not able to outrun you. So... Uh, okay, just no different ones for the different jars. Ooh, cake. Boys, don't touch them cakes, there's calories in that icing you don't need. Okay, you're not you're not doing well at selling your stuff here, ma'am. Having trouble getting your children sticky enough? Not if you give them candy flus, cotton candy mix, gloop guaranteed. Just add water. Let's put its stickiness to the test. Okay, yoink. I love candy and I love to share it with the world. Except you, for your own good, of course. I'm so conflicted about this. No, something like this is more your style. You can keep them in your pocket, take it out on break, have a little lick, and put it back for tomorrow. A lot like that should last you a month if you control yourself. <laughs> you can share one, a side each. Um, I, as I said, uh, these candy canes, we call them something else here, polka grease. I don't know why we call them pigs. Yes, grease means pig. I don't know why we call them polka grease. I had one, I, I don't like it, I found one I did like, and it did last me a bloody month. Okay. 
I get the feeling um, Ma'am here does not actually want to share her candy. Mostly wants to keep it for herself. Possibly. I, I, this. I only bought the, that candy once. I even tried the jawbreakers once and it lost me a lot of time, but I never bought them again due to... Yeah, even as a kid, I thought... This starts to look disgusting, so I think I even washed them a few times here and there, even before licking and trying to eat them. Okay. <laughs> hmm. You, you, would one... you eat a candy with dust on it? Nope. <laughs> now you see why I washed them. Yeah. I should I should go look get I should go get some double salted licorice again sometimes. That stuff is super damn salty, but yeah, with someone whose taste buds are as numbed as mine, that, that that's actually for the good. What? Let's what? see. If I make it licorice, I'll give you that for I hate licorice. Let's see. Spear? What simpleton speaking is that, young chap? We gentlemen use the term lance. That's actually a different kind of polearm. But they use spears, so I don't think they had lances. Yeah, lances were more knights uh, stuff and such. And for actual battle charges. And, well, they were not supposed to get in... They were <laughs> if you have a bow, you're not supposed to get into the melee of it. Let's see. My, my, my. Two of TL PD's finest in my store. Mui, for you, everything is on the, everything's on the house. Yes! Or at least it would be if I sold healthy foodstuffs. I can't have you two bastions of the law getting unfit on my watch. <laughs> oh, no. Oh! <laughs> but I am conflicted about her. Like, uh, conflicting that she sells candy and still is out uh, for the well-being of these two? Yeah, I'm trying to identify if she's bullshitting or being honest. Um, I think I'm going to go with a mix of the two in that she wants to keep her candy for herself. Let's see. That box must be doing very well if he has an office on his own. I wonder what the view is like. Box office over and over. Let's see. Rabble Rouser 2, Needle Face on Earth. I don't even understand what any of that means. It's scary stuff, right? I'm guessing that's a... Uh, Hellraiser or something. Yeah. Rabble Rouser, Hellraiser. <laughs> Guy like the movie, coming soon. Are you bringing Doris? Shut up! <laughs> yes. Who's Doris? A uh, girlfriend or something? Let's see. Have you met the Doris? The butterfly kisser. <laughs> the paranormal PI. That's what the, that's what the sequel of this game should be called. What a dumb premise. Sea biter. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is. It's a job reference, but except for a shark, they have uh... tentacles. tentacles. Yeah. Think again. <laughs> is this going to be the episode where we are talking in Like, this has happened before, people. But we, in one episode, for two hours, had many, several times. Oh, that's a bit redundant. Right just many times talked in sync. Yeah. <laughs> and Marco thought it was Terminator. Or Terminator. Would that be a Digimon Terminator? Repent I now and find salvation on now. The end days are coming also on now. Chant ye of little fate and summon <laughs> gruel the end timer also now. These these aren't screen times, are they? No, just lies for twice. All hail grew the end timer. Let's see. It doesn't taste the same since they banned butter and salt and the corn. What the heck, the heck are you left with then? It can't be that bad. Try some. Okay, one popcorn, please. One popcorn coming right up. Okay, let's try this. Um, nom, nom. That's rotten. Yeah, we have a bin over here, especially for the popcorn. <laughs> You can keep the tub, and it's overflowed. What? Uh, what is it then? If it, 
You need a corn to turn into a popcorn. I don't think we even want to know what it is. And it was rotten? What? Yeah, it, it, it tasted rotten, I'm guessing. But, yeah. <laughs> I prefer popcorn salty. Same. That's the trophy for our award-winning popcorn. Award-winning? Popcorn that, that at least tastes like popcorn. They didn't spe specify it had to taste good. Their mistake was our gain. Wait. It's not popcorn, is it? Yeah, it's something else. Rice, I guess? You can get rice in the pop like that. What candies and sewers do you have? Nothing. This is all fake. They took the real stuff away after I laced it to help customers see the truth. What? Welcome to the cinema. Offer of the day is that you know, cops pay double. That's good. That's a good... Is that a good deal? No. No, cops out. <laughs> hey, I know you. You were in a cult I bust up last year. The Brotherhood of the World's End were not a cult. We were an alternative <laughs> alternative religion. Focused on bringing about the end of the world. Through ritual chanting and sacrifice. Yeah, what's your point? Who is this guy not blacklisted from every job except for Throlet Scrubber? Then again, he'd, he'd probably try to plunge up Cthulhu or something. Can you think... Yeah, I think they use it in something in fake... Pro uh, not prostitute, mostly what I'm looking for. Prosthetic? A prosthetic for uh, replacing arms and such. Yeah, let's see, Marco, and you have not answered my question of why I should be paying you to be here. No, I... Paying... You, know, you should pay me to replace Drakir. That's what I was joking about. And, no, you can't pay enough to get rid of him. Yay. Let's see, it's locked. Some member of staff around here is bound to have a key. Uh, no, no, substitute. Substitute what I'm yeah, looking yeah. for, the word. Okay. Now, how do we... Oh, uh, sorry actually... if I could loud. <laughs> see, I need a good reason to turn this into a candy floss fountain. And the Floss Fountain sounds like a good enough reason to me. Wait, oh no, as you realize. Are you even eating candy where they replace the sugar with something else and it tastes horrible? I know there are some candies that have the sugar replacements. Uh, They're all sugar free. Uh, I will admit they. They sound, they, no, they taste less good, but not awful in, well, most cases that I've tried it myself. I taste sort of a rather, well, kind of meh, and some just actually taste awful, but others actually made you sick. This was a problem, like, they were supposed to eat, make you eat healthy. What's the point to eat a candy without sugar that somehow makes you more sick? Yeah. Or rather, in some cases, more usual cases, more annoying trips to the bathroom. This week's sporting news. I see the Spider Moth coach is blaming their losing streak on a hex. I should probably investigate that, actually. Okay. <laughs> that no. sounded way too natural to you. <laughs> Have you done that? Maybe. <laughs> There's no way I'm doing that. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, no. Wait, no way to how do you do that with popcorn? Hmm. Okay, how do we get the kids tied up then? Also, do you have a key? Hmm. <laughs> Let's see, how do we even get these kids down? Like we need to get this into the fountain. Maybe that'll bring them out all over or something to be tied up. Let's see, I'm not seeing anywhere we could attach this thing to add water. Do we need to find its water source? Yeah, we need the access to the roof. 
but we need to get... Also, you can't arbitrarily change this, the price for people to pretty, based on, well, anything, really. Actually, the, the, oh, the price I know listed what's going is on. the price. Hmm? I think he's doing something that has, has happened in some cinemas, at least. I think I've only heard it happen in the USA. Maybe it has happened elsewhere. So it's usually shown in uh, American movies. But you have some people working in the cinema and they are not following the rules and uh, do make up their own, like. Cops pay double, or worst case scenario, which I think has happened, for political reasons or for just for simple stupid reasons like the color of your skin and such like that. Yeah, that, that's illegal. And in most cases I've heard of those, rare as they are, the person responsible gets fired hard. Yeah, for it's usually not promoted by the owner. And if you hear yeah. them, bloody heck, there will be hell to pay. Let's well, see, we forgot pay. to go in here. Let's see. What other features would like you would you like to see? Can't it, uh, can't it look up the sports results? Of course, just open this menu, scroll to here, type in all your personal data, and then ask your question. Using 20, you know, 32 characters or less, including spaces, then your question is then sent through to the Encyclopedia Britannica headquarters where a person looks it up and replies. There we go, sent. Now we just wait for the answer. This may take a few units of time. Or um, we just... Here, use this to find the information you want. Sports results! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Drat, another sale down the loo. It's like people don't want to pay $3,000 for a bit of rubbish tech without it being some ludicrous status symbol. iPhone? Uh. Like, I'm pretty sure my current phone only cost me like a hundred bucks. And it's still going. Let's see. I prefer to clean my vacuum by hand. Uh... Well, it's so big, you can almost see the pixels. It's, oh, <laughs> I accidentally clicked there. <laughs> oh, we made the TV. Yeah, yeah. Th these little hand vacuum cleaners are pretty useful, but they can also be a nuisance to clean since the bags in them are pretty small. Or worse, the nozzle thing keeps falling off. Yeah. I shouldn't set the detonation equipment in a place like the... What? Oh. <laughs> oh, I started to look for explosives. Let's see. These are just the cam... Uh, just like the cameras we use to tell if an area is high crime or not. They want that they... Uh, mm. They want that they wall mount and then count the number of days until somebody steals them? The very same. Okay, that's one way of having camera surveillance. We are still investigating video crimes against you, sir. Video killed the radio star. Oh, good gods. These are the same lamps we have in the station's interrogation cells. Actually, this might prove handy. Yoink. Excuse me, sorry, what are you doing? You can't just take that. We're uh, confiscating it for a police investigation. Now, man, I'm down to sale and you've taken two things from me. This is not the money <laughs> this is not the running to the Christmas I want. Relax, guy, you can invoice the station for this. We're cops, not thieves. Oh, oh, well, that's turned my day around. I think I've actually hit my sales quota today. Happy to help. Just a sales quota of only two? Okay. How does a digital clock tell the time if it's only has one and zeros? Tell me that. Okay, now I'm actually thinking that a, a digital a clock that shows uh, the shows the, the time in just zero or in a binary would be pretty oh. uh, <laughs> could be pretty no. interesting. 
No! That'd be horrible! Let's see. The latest in portable cell phone technology. That's portable? It's huge. It comes with its own carry case, complete with wheels. <laughs> That's not a yoke. Yeah, uh, you again? Didn't you cause enough harm today already? If I'm hey. right, some cell phones things did have portable chargers, which were bags with wheels you attached to them. Yeah, then there's also those things you saw during uh, the Vietnam War, I believe, where they would carry basically a phone with yeah, a charge pack on the back. Yeah, that's probably that was the more earlier model. I love this place. I wonder what new catches we can find to, to rig out the Popo motor with. What? That's what he calls the, the squad car. Come on, Dooley. I just got the hang of using this police scanner. You're such a Lud Luddite detective. <laughs> True. I put the no in. I put the no in technology. Okay. Now, how yeah, are we going to mix all of this stuff? Don't tell about Luddites. They don't hate technology. They just don't like being overly dependent on it. Oh. Combining these should give me the reach I need. Homemade pump. Wait, I just realized something. You are police. You should be able to arrest the guy in the cinema. <laughs> Probably, but he has not. The, the, he has better things to do. Like, are, are we just going to hose buzz out of the, <laughs> the tree? Let's see. Okay. Hmm. Just add my water for a sticky mess. Lordy, I can't let that go for... It actually angers me that people have done that in cinemas. Just ban people for the stupidest reasons. Clearly illegal reasons, even. Yeah. That angers me. Like... Let's say you and me go to cinema, and you're not allowed in because you were Dutch. That'd be horrible. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can just call the police on that, and, well, it, they... Definitely. Mm, you can at, at the absolute least file for discrimination. Okay. Definitely. I'm going to look up a hint on this now, what to do. So, let's see. That's, uh, there, by heart. Uh, let's see. Helping Buzz Gnome. <laughs> oh, okay. Apparently there is something else we can go get. Probably taking the long... Actually, uh, going the absolute wrong way. Yep. Let's not click out of the game. Yeah, no, yes. I can't see the game anymore yet. Yeah. I'm trying to click the preview away. Let's see. Kills me every time. Let's see, we need to get that claw. But oh. we also need to get to the roof. Uh, so. right, I, I need more water. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay, when this site... <clears throat> when this site is... Uh, yeah, is about to give a hint that's going to be just outright telling it, it has red coloring instead of the normal yellow, as a warning. Let's see. What do you want, innocent shopper? You need to get to the roof. Access restricted to security staff and law enforcement officers. But we are police. Look at our badges. Accessing database. Awful modem whirling beep beep boom. <laughs> uh, badges not recognized. That makes no sense. Uh, what? Yeah, my king even asked me for a, our numbers the other day to double check if we were on there. Motherfucker removed us from the registry. 
He keeps sniggering away to himself, probably laughing at how unlikely it will be that we'd be not be on their own. Oh, love of. But look at our current predicament. Oh, wait. Oh, oh wait. I see what happened now. We'd better find a way to, to ring dispatch and get re-registered. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's illegal, but he's probably going to have, well, the mayor shield him from that. Okay, so we need to make a call. That's extremely illegal, and... Yeah, I think the police chief will have something to say. Yeah, and yes, it even had the sound, Marco. <laughs> Can I use that phone to make a call, please? I guess. I'm not using this thing this thing now that you've chased off my customer anyway. Dispatch. Sally, it's McQueen. Can you add me and Dooley back onto the very real police register, please? Sure thing, detective. Thanks. Okay, Dooley, let's get <laughs> let's go get that robot's key. Well, that was easy enough. Wait. Has that happened before? Possibly. What now, human? Try your registry again. Fine. Double checking noises and sounds. <laughs> I have no idea why that noise specifically was act. I I'll, I mean, I'll need to look into why that noise was even. I think there was there is a reason. I think that was actually how it came out when we both connected to the internet. That was the actual sound of a, the computer doing it. Okay. Oh, you are on there. How good for you. Can we access the roof now? I guess you can have my access pass. I guess. Oh, no, okay. I, I should have right. That's how the speakers registered its sound. It, 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 how the sound came out. Okay. It was something like that. It has been a wife. I know I've heard the expression about it before. Okay. Let's see if there's anything up there we can use to capture that creature. Oh, it's gonna be a nuisance show, but calling him a creature is a bit harsh. It is. <laughs> it's very harsh. Let's see. Water tank. The water reserve for the sprinkler system. Claws missing. If I want to use it, I'll need to find a replacement. Plasma, yeah, okay. And... Yep, skylight. He's right below the skylight. Can we use this to get to him? No. Nice brisk night for staying around like this. Take all the time you need. I'm in no rush to go back indoors. You're freezing, aren't you? I'm so cold I can't see. <laughs> That's bad. Let's see, Marco, that's the sound of your speakers when your computer was loading something on, on the internet. <clears throat> yeah. yeah what, I'm, what I'm trying to get at is, is if it was just a sound that was playing or an actual well, mechanical sound or something. Yeah, it's about, it came out from the speakers, but yeah, I don't know why the speakers played up the sound. That claw might work on the wind, but why is there a kid in there? He uh, crawled in when I wasn't looking. Okay, just the same. Um, how do we get it then? We... Wait, bigger phone? Yeah, it's a lamp. Oh, there was a lamp. How do we get that thing out? Uh... And the kid out. Yeah, missing That's... something. And what's behind the dad? Yeah, it's the broken console. Uh... Hmm. Okay, how do we get him out? Let's see, I can't think of anything, so back to the hints. Uh, da -da -da. There. Okay, missed another thing, it seems. Okay. Uh, 
made of myself a fist drink. Hmm? A rubber hammer. The soft head means it's perfect for mildly smashing a glass or knocking in ten pegs without bending them. Makes for a great camping mallet. Unless you come up against bears, then the soft head will let you down. <laughs> Sometimes at night I still hear Derek screams. This might be handy. Might ever take it, Ned? Hmm? Oh, yes, yes. Sorry, got to reminiscing it there. Okay, I forgot to, oh, to check out some of these. Ah, the trowel. Child shovel or pocket spades, depending on your country of origin. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I keep thinking that I found everything that we can use. But then, yeah, I get proven wrong. Okay, kids, stay back. One delicate tap should do it. I knew I liked you for a reason, Detective. You hated me. <laughs> I better get you a home, boy, before your mama finds out what happens. Can I stay a while longer? Well, since the detective broke that machine, somebody has to take that stuff. To the authorities, I mean. Think you can handle that, girl? Wait until the cops are gone and pocket this stuff. Gotcha. Emily? Are you gonna be okay on your own? Are you serious? I'm a blood wolf. I'm ready for anything. That's my girl. Okay. Emily, don't steal that stuff. We both know I'm going to. You're going to rub that stuff, aren't you? Honestly, not sure. My upbringing says yes, but the blood wolf in me says maybe only yes a little. Like 60% yes. <laughs> what have you done to me? I don't know who I am anymore. So I guess Dooley is a positive influence on the kids after all. Or at least one of them. Possibly. Not to put the claw out. Looks like I finally won something from one of these things. Yeah, I, I, I think sure there's. Tried one. Yeah, I, I think I've tried them uh, once or twice. But the thing with them is, is that they are programmed to fail most of the time. That's only like one in ten or seven or whatever they're set to. Uh, at amount of times they will actually hold on enough to actually be able to well keep hold of something and even then you have to <clears throat> and even then you have to be lucky enough to get a good enough grip on something not just by its ear or something and most of the time when they lose their stuff is when they get to the top of their ascent and they get shaken and most of the things will then fall out <clears throat> yeah okay enough about claw machines let's make let's make one of our own Okay, they should have the machine back up and running. Let's use this contraption. Yoink. Okay. Damn it, he's moving too much to grab onto. We need to find some way to stick him in place. Well, we know how to. There. Can't go... Okay, we just... We just drop it in from over here. Look out below. Yep. Okay, how do I get it in there then? The train? Hmm. Wait, why are we putting a hose on the hand vacuum? Yeah, to make a pump? What for? I'm not sure. Now let's see, Marco. Uh, da, 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 da. One in thirteen chance to get the, uh, for them to get something, and a total of one in twenty-one to get the thing. Okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> yeah. Da, da, da. Oh. I was being an idiot, apparently. There. If I do that, that card will turn song. Okay, apparently not. Uh, okay, but I was using it from the wrong place. Yeah, that makes sense. I think that water is re recycling its own water. Let's see, I can see that Gnome Buzz is stuck over there. Time to go get him. Gnome Buzz. Oh, now I get it. Yoink. <laughs> Good thing it grabbed him by the scruff of this. <laughs> and got him. You received Gnome Buzz. We have him. Now to question him and find out what's going on around here. 
We can interrogate. We can't interrogate him. You can be a good cop, and I will be. How is this guy still a cop? Um, not the type of bad cop we're <laughs> that's supposed to be, Dooley. Uh, I think that was more of a accidental self jab. Yeah. But we have been questioning how he actually became a cop. A this cop should hold me in place. <laughs> There we go. Okay, we've got him tied up, but where slash how do we interrogate him now then? I don't like, free me. We need to find a way to question this guy. We have the interrogation lamp, but I'm guessing we need to plunk him down somewhere first. Or do we threaten him with the stew? Quote unquote stew. Wait, what was that? Hmm? Wait, there was new takes there. Again, this. It's, nobody is buying that as a solution. Yeah, that's only ticks, but the uh, stuff there. When there's a bit of pink to pink stuff. Uh, at the fountain. Yes. Uh, if you click it. Christmas tree. <laughs> Duly stop eating ca fountain candy. Shum shum, but there's so much of it! I knew there was something there! Okay. Oh my throat, they'll be all soon into the stream. Uh, yeah. I, said, uh, I like to be voice acting, so I should probably practice a bit more to get my accent the voice, uh, voice a bit better. And maybe try something. Ain't straining on the throat. Probably, yeah. Like, he, I can do his voice well, just after a while it does get annoying. Yeah. I think the pizza helped it a little bit better today. Uh, I can't eat pizza every time the voice act. It's... Marco, wanna hear a joke? I can't promise it will be good, though. Go ahead. Go and, ahead? Yeah. The cliché is put them in a chair and put a light in their face. Okay, that's him tied down, now to question him. I should... Okay, should put it down. Okay, lamp's in place. Tell me what's going on here. No chance, adult. Me no say anything. Yeah, I need to find something to interrogate him with. Do you have your flashlight on you, Julie? I sort of traded it. Traded it? Well, last week I was getting this subway to work, and I was hungry, and there was this busker with a sandwich, and he really wanted some light, so he could go find a new home in the tunnels. So one thing led to another. Duly. In my defense, the sandwich was very nice. I'm I pretty actually sure had to you move can my own accent there. Okay. Stop, stop, Sus tells you, you all things. What are you? Are you Buzz? Is Buzz and isn't? Is Buzz and isn't? You're making no sense. Explain yourself. Krampus bring out worst in Chelder. Yeah, that's what Gnome is. Badness incarnate. I didn't think Bass could get, Buzz could get much words. That yeah, would be the worst. How do we defeat Krampus? What's his weakness? Him lactose intolerable. <laughs> Who likes milk? Who likes milk? <laughs> Then let's milk him! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> That's... there's a better way to phrase that. <laughs> and as for you, mister, you can stay here until you quit whatever gang it is you joined. <laughs> okay, okay, so we don't see. have to clean out all the kids. Yeah, let's see, Marco's joke. Let's see, male bees die after mating. That's their whole life. Honey, not Cheerio. <laughs> I was to read it out loud, but after reading it first, I realized, nope, I'm not reading that. Oh, good God. Okay. What? I, I, I think I need to bonk uh, Marco here. I think, yeah, this might be the first time I bonked a sh uh, someone in chat. Come here, Marco. Come here. Let's see, I think I know what we're supposed to do then, or at least how we're supposed to poison Krampus. 
I, I was thinking we give him some of the popcorn, but you douse it with milk or something, or eggnog. Uh, I just need some milk, please. Plain old milk. Don't sell it, mate. But you must have some. It's one of the ingredients of eggnog. Yeah, I have it. I just don't sell it. It's an eggnog stand, not a milk stand. Let's see. There has to be a way to get to that, yeah, to get to that milk without that guy stopping me. Okay. All right, that's the hmm. one. You see? Let's see. Getting milk. Mm hmm. Get the. Oh no. That feels like a. Yeah. And cliche joke of uh, someone lost the father when they were just going out for the milk. We're above the food court here, right over that unhelpful eggnog man in his cart. We just lower this down gently. Seriously? <laughs> the... <laughs> I don't have a vacuum cleaner full of milk. This really is the season that keeps on giving. Okay. <laughs> that totally doesn't look terrible. Okay. I think that machine is broken. <laughs> it's full of popcorn and I know why. It's... Are you going to shoot him? <laughs> I think we I'm need to get... I'm trying to shoot you with a milk cannon. Oh, wait, not, it's not mm. a milk cannon, but you know what I mean. Like, I know... Hmm. I think the popcorn is supposed to be the solution, but... Let's see... Da, da, da. Oh! Let's see. Could I trouble you for some cookie dough now? Hmm. Well, you didn't want it when I first offered. I say, old girl, this chap is on, the, on a mission, no doubt. Needs a slap of your dough to fix a whole breach or some such, I'd wager. Best help him out. Oh, Smithy, you know I was going to share it. Just having giggles with this gentleman and this boy. Hey! <laughs> yep. No way! Over clean. Let's see. Let's see, some uncooked cookies. Are we literally just going to feed him milk and cookies? You made me not able to read his text. How dare you? That was a repeat. Oh. Let's bake some cookies. Yay! Any minute Wait, now. It works? I don't think it's supposed to. Did the appliance store and toy store get something mixed up? And they're baked. Okay, so we've got cookies. Wait, oh no, I remember now. It was a thing from this era. Oh, that can least... totally <laughs> ended up terribly. It did end up terribly. This way they don't sell them anymore. Freshly if I remember cookies, right. kind of dry. Okay, let's soak the cookies in the milk and get them to Krampus before they turn to goo. Okay, is it going to be that easy? Then why do we need the popcorn thing? <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Boss, no talk to it, you know, to adults. Only kids. Back off. Hmm. I need to find a child that he hasn't turned yet. Emily? Wait, why is why hasn't she been turned into a gremlin? Uh, uh, Wait, she already is. Well, uh, she wasn't in there when it happened. True. Hey, da, 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 da. Let's see. Emily, can you do us a favor and bring some stuff to Santa, please? What's in it for me? Warm feeling of seasonal goodwill? That's not gonna rot my teeth. I need them to fall out so I can get cast from the tooth fairy and buy myself a set of metal chompers. <laughs> chomp, 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 chomp. Okay, so we get ourselves <laughs> a popcorn bin of uh, candy. Uh, let's oh, there's a sign that reads gone home early seemed out of luck here 
She, wa she wasn't going to sell us anything nice anyway. <laughs> hmm. Okay, how else do we get candy then? Uh, I looked at the fountain. Ah, uh, right. <laughs> uh, Again, I proving why I'm no good at point and click stuff. Okay, one top of gooey can goopy candy for Emily. I was right! Yep. Uh, I got too close, my shoes are stuck. Get them barefoot from here on out. Detective shoes stuck in candy. Five words, take that, Hemingways. I'm not getting the joke or the reference. I, I, Hemingway. Wait. Ain't it the. Uh, no, that's not the owner of Playboy, is it? Hmm. No, I think it's from a uh, Broadway or something, or yeah, so something with plays. I I have heard of Hemingway, and I know it's a name of someone famous. But that's it. <clears throat> okay, timer went off, but let's finish this bit. Candy. Okay, okay, I'll go see Stupid Claws for you. Okay. Uh, Pyrosu? Is that the boy? <laughs> What's going on, Omi? Uh, we're actually just going to... <laughs> we're we were actually going to finish up the stream because we've hit our two-hour mark, <laughs> Pyro. <laughs> sorry about that. Yeah, and, sorry. <laughs> uh, who, who the boy do you mean? Marco or McQueen and Dooley over there? And, or me. Yeah, they, they actually put his shoes off. <laughs> Okay, let's put on a save. And yeah, we're going to look, go look for someone to raid. And yeah, that was very obviously a Christmas themed mission. <laughs> extra level in this game. Which, well, the dark side detective. Yeah, we. Okay, as I we might maybe able to finish it next time, but that's a maybe. Yeah, uh, come on, display capture. Your Okay, something baby. going off. Oh, wait, I think I know what's going on there. Uh, let's see, I think... Uh, let me see, if I do this... Okay, yeah. I, I need to go sort out my game captures, because some of them seems to still be on some games that we're using the display capture for now. Okay, uh, yeah, let's go look for someone to raid. So we move over here, and I change the screen share. There and there. Are we streaming this evening? Uh, yeah, I don't see... I don't see much that should get in the way of that. <clears throat> Alright, so no D&D group. Uh, yeah, unlikely. We're still trying to figure out how stuff with that is... Actually, uh, is this... Let me double check something for something... Uh, where are they? Let's see. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Okay, no, this was... Okay, there's nothing planned, it looks like. But, yeah, very likely a stream tonight. But, yeah, always a slight chance of no. For now, though, let's take a look. We have Karenai, who is streaming this Gaia 7, Vows of the Virtuous. Hilarious, I've with... been playing it today. <laughs> okay, maybe them, then. Uh, Frogcast is playing Counter-Strike. Is that the original? I know Counter-Strike 2 came out recently, and... Uh, stupid oh, ad, of course. Yeah, uh, Counter-Strike 2 came out recently, and to my knowledge, uh, it didn't do much, if anything. So that might Wait. just die on arrival. Wait, hold on. Counter-Strike 2 arrived... This year? After how many years? Way too many if you ask the fans. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Okay, I think that was, I thought we already had, like, Counter-Strike 4 or something. Yeah, there were other Counter-Strikes, like Go Global Offensive and such, that, but not a quote-unquote true sequel or number two, though that can, be get, that can be pretty dumb with just numbering. Uh, next uh, up, we have uh, I'm Nice, who is playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. Kiri Natsuyoko is playing Clone Hero. Reverend Raccoon with Cyberpunk 2077. 
WBPLL is streaming Ghostbusters the video game again. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, any of them it's or Gaia. shall we? Hmm? It's Gaia. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Okay, they're in their pre-stream still, but oh well. Oh god. As I, I could see a stream this guy here says we could grind off stream for it. But question it, it have already grind does take quite a while. So it actually yeah. hasn't been that bad with this game. Like I'm I somehow on Orion's chapter three somehow accidentally Almost reached uh, level 100 with my characters through the item world. Okay. So, technically, I could start a bit early on the... through the story a little bit. Uh, okay, started to raid a bit too early there. Uh, actually, I can Oops. still hit cancel on that, so let's do that. Okay. Slash raid paste. Uh, yeah, likely, but not certain. A s another stream tonight today with uh, the Count Lucanor. And uh, yeah, if we if we somehow manage to finish that game, then <laughs> I have plenty of backup games installed. Um, yeah, Ooh, tomorrow, yeah, uh, tomorrow more Dark Side Detective and perhaps Eleanor in the evening. Wait, maybe not Eleanor. Was it wrong BC with something this weekend with the with the room? Uh, maybe uh, that's. We'll see. If he can attend, then, well, we can do that. But if not, then we can do more Count Lucanor or one of the other games I've installed. Sounds good to me. And next team is hopefully within three hours? Yeah, in about three hours. So, yeah, for now, let's get that raid started. And, yeah, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Pyro Sue, even if you just jumped in at the end. Sorry about that. Devaldi will be there in a second for you to watch what shenanigans we got up to. And thank you, Marco. And thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. Thank you for having me. And thank you all for joining. <laughs> and yeah, like we said, likely another stream today. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow. But yeah, until then, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. Have a lovely Saturday. And watch out for Andy Seagulls. <laughs>